Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show as we already uh, get engaged in the topic of uh, saving for retirement. We've got Grant Van Sales, Certified Financial Planner and Investment Blogger to chat to us through that. And of course, our number is also, is also open. Our lines are open on 0839133728 to take your questions or your comments. So let's talk about what options we have when we first look at the retirement annuity because a uh, financial advisor will most likely always tell you about uh, retirement annuity. What are the advantages and the disadvantages of saving through a retirement okay, annuity? Okay, cool. So, advantage of a retirement annuity is basically the government is giving you 15% of your taxes back, so you can put away into this retirement vehicle, so that at a later stage you don't rely on them as a resource for income at a retirement stage. Second advantage is the fact that inside the retirement annuity, the investment doesn't have taxes, so there's no capital gains tax. There's no dividends withholding tax. There's no interest tax. So in essence, what that means in layman's terms, in order for you to get away, uh, get the same sort of return that a retirement annuity can give you, you have to get an investment that gives you a significant return. Yeah. The disadvantages, however, with the retirement annuity and which catches most people is that the product isn't liquid. So the only time you really have access to the fund is at retirement. Yeah. Uh, or at age 55, whichever is earliest. So yeah. that's where most people get caught up. So certainly a lot more of a long-term uh, decision-making process that you've got to go through. Then we talk about pension funds versus provident funds. What's the differences between these two? Okay, so a pension fund and a, a, and a retirement annuity are very similar. The okay. only difference between a pension fund and a retirement annuity is a pension fund has an employer-employee relationship. So okay. RA is if you're on your own, you've got your own company, you contribute towards that yourself. Yes. A pension fund, you've got an employer contributing towards it and an employee contributing towards it. And those deductions are tax deductible up to that 15%. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the provident fund, there's two difference. The only portion that's tax deductible is the, the portion the employer contributes towards the actual fund, to the mm -hmm. provident fund. But also at retirement, a retirement annuity and a pension fund, you, have to, you can take one third and do whatever you like with that money. Mm -hmm. The other two thirds we have to invest into what we call a living or a life annuity. Whereas with the provident fund, you can take the full cash lump sum and do what you please with yeah. it. However, that will be changing quite soon from the 1st of March 2016. And what would be those changes? So the provident fund will be very similar to the pension and the, the RA, but all past dated exp or, uh, benefits like the, the contributions and the growth on the funds, You'll still be able to get the lump sum on that, but anything going forward will be able to only get the one third, two third rule. Yeah, well, yeah. we're going to carry on with this conversation a little bit later on. Uh, like I said, our lines are open 0839133728. We're asking the question of whether you have saved enough for your retirement. And of course, there's the time factor. It's something that you really do need to do right now. Otherwise, you lose out every single year going forward. But we'll engage in that conversation a little bit later on. Right now, let's talk about apps of the week with you and.